Hey everyone, welcome back to Follity, where we spill the tea and dive into the most absurd stories. Today, we've got a real gem for you. Guess who's making a documentary about Sean Diddy Combs? That's right, 50 Cent. Yes, the same guy who once said, get rich or die trying, is now getting rich by telling us about Diddy's alleged misdeeds. What a world we live in. So, the official word from 50 Cent's camp is that this documentary is a story with significant human impact and a complex narrative spanning decades. Wow, thanks for the heads up, Curtis. I thought it was just about bottles of baby oil and questionable parties. My bad. But let's not forget, 50 Cent is totally here to give a voice to the voiceless. You know, because nothing says, I care, quite like cashing in on someone else's drama. But hey, at least he wants to ensure that Diddy's personal life doesn't overshadow hip-hop culture as a whole. Truly noble. Oh, and here's a fun tidbit. 50 has been super vocal about not attending those infamous Diddy parties. He calls them uncomfortable. Can you imagine? Sorry, I can't go to your extravagant, celebrity-studded party filled with all sorts of debauchery. I'm busy avoiding weird energy. Classic. But wait, the sarcasm doesn't stop there. Just recently, 50 Cent posted a cheeky tweet about Diddy Oil. Yeah, you know, the stuff they found during the police raids that were supposedly just freak-off supplies. Because who doesn't stock up on baby oil when you're preparing for a cozy night in, right? Now, for the grand finale, Diddy is currently cooling his heels in a Brooklyn detention center, facing charges for, let's see, sex trafficking and racketeering. Just a typical Tuesday, huh? He's been denied bail twice, and his court date is coming up soon. But on a serious note, if you or someone you know has been affected by anything mentioned today, please don't hesitate to reach out for help. You're not alone. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more crazy stories. Until next time, keep it real and keep it sarcastic.